So this is the second video in this series of transistor biasing. We're going to take a look at BJT base bias with emitter resistor. And the whole point of these videos is to show you that Kirchhoff works. Kirchhoff's voltage law works. Kirchhoff's current laws work. We can use Ohm's law to derive our own formulas. And I hope that you know, you're not just getting the final formulas and then trying to memorize those formulas, but my hope is more that you're looking at the process on how we basically develop our own formulas and figure this stuff out using Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do our Kirchhoff loop equation. We're going to write a closed loop and Kirchhoff's voltage law says that any closed loop should add up and equal zero. So we've got our minus VCC plus VRB plus VBE plus VRE. Now all those voltages should add up to zero. So now we can put that equation in terms of VRB because I'm always looking for any of these BJT transistors where to me, I'm really looking for IB, the current at the base because they're current control devices. So I'm going to put that equation in terms of VRB. I can manipulate it. Um, now put it in terms of current and resistance. And we've got that bottom equation with two unknowns. We've got IP times RB equals VCC minus 0.7 volts minus IE times RE. All right, so we've got our equation down to two unknown currents, an IB and an IE. And I really want to solve for IB. So is there a way I can get IE in terms of IB? So I know that through the emitter, I've got both IB and IC flowing. So IE is equal to IB plus IC. You can see the two current paths for one for IB comes down, one for IC comes down, they both go through the transistor and they're both there at IE. So IE is equal to IB plus IC. We also know that beta is equal to IC over IB. And if we put that equation in terms of IC, IC is equal to IB times beta. Now, if we substitute that IC into the original IE equation, we've got IE equals IB plus IB times beta. And if we factor out the IBs from the right-hand side, we get IE is equal to IB times the quantity one plus beta. Sometimes it's referred to as I is equal to the base current times beta plus one. Uh, same thing. Now I've got IE in terms of IB. I can circle back to my earlier equation, my Kirchhoff loop equation, where I had my two unknown currents, IB and IE. And I'm going to substitute in the IB equals I or IE equals IB times beta plus one for the IE. And you can see the new equation, IB times RB equals VCC minus 0.7 volts minus IB times beta plus one times RE. Now if I get the IBs on the same side and factor out the IB, I, my final equation is IB is equal to VCC minus 0.7 volts divided by RB plus RE times beta plus one. Now that I have IB, I can quickly find IC and IE. I can find VRB, VRC, and VRE, and I can do another Kirchhoff loop equation through VCE using the RC and RE side and find the equation for VCE. So VCE should be equal to VCC minus VRC minus VRE. Okay, so the final step for any transistor biasing circuit, we need to develop the DC load line. And so 
the DC load line is an active rep representation of any point between cutoff and saturation. And v in cutoff, VCE cutoff, the transistor is acting like an open switch, so there should be no current flow at this time. And the VCE should be equal to VCC. It's dropping all the voltage. In saturation, the transistor is acting like a short or a closed switch, and we've got maximum current at this time. And when the transistor, in this circuit, when the transistor is acting like a short, the only resistance we have is RC and RE. And so we can find that saturation current by dividing VCC by RC plus RE. Now, the final, the final thing to do is add your cue point, and your cue point is your VCE uh, IC. And hopefully that cue point is somewhere in the active region. Because if it's not, if it's really close to saturation or really close to cutoff, then this transistor circuit is not biased correctly. And it doesn't do any good if your biasing is not somewhere in the middle of the active load line. Um, it doesn't do any good to, to go move on to do the amplification um, calculations if we're not biased somewhere towards the middle of the load line.